Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. We are doing an A4 reaction. Whoa, it's been so long. Yeah, um, I'm, we're doing two games. I'm going to do just two in one video. Um, I'm doing this because this is a, we've got the top four playing each other, so it's a big round. This is a game I've been looking forward to the whole season because uh, they've been the two best teams. And I expected that at the start of the season. And that's how it's been. So I want to see who comes out on top. I'm liking the uh, the Guernseys. Very nice vibe to them. I'm hoping they're good games as well because last week we had three classics. <laughs> I hope these two are just like that. Right, not much in the uh, in the first. These are two high-scoring teams as well. Good mark to take the lead. I want to see uh, Frio win the flag. I'm hoping they do this year. That's a good mark. Uh, I thought I thought something. I was waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Didn't even see the kick. What's happened? It's not not a good time. There's only two rounds left to the finals. There's two rounds left, right? This is round eight, right? <laughs> I lose track of time sometimes. Yeah, well played. And 50. This, I have the same problem with the, AF, with the AFO men's highlights. They don't show the kicks enough. They show the mark or the tackle. As soon as it's time for the free kick, it cuts off. Too often. <laughs> Too often. In fairness, there's only been one goal each uh, this time around, so probably nothing happened, but still. <laughs> still annoys me sometimes about highlights videos. Nice one. Every goal is key in a game like this. I mean, in, in any game, really, but you know what I mean? I mean, like, when it's so, like, low scoring and tight, every goal is, is you know, massive. All right, Frio leading in, in the last quarter. Adelaide seems to have started. Well, I say started. It's been six minutes. They've started more brightly. That's a goal, surely. This is interesting because Adelaide, Adelaide especially, they score a lot of points, especially this season. That's only their second goal. And a third. I don't think that was a mark either. <laughs> good, good kick. Took too long, took too long. That's how you lose a game. If Adelaide get... Okay. <laughs> Don't show it to me. I was going to say if I didn't get a goal there, it's game over. But it's game over anyway. She alright? Should be alright. Nine points. Okay. Well, uh, not quite the classic like the games last week. But uh, yeah, Adelaide have won. I kind of wanted Frio to win. Let's move on to North v uh, Melbourne. I'm hoping this game was better. What happened? What actually did happen? Oh, okay. I, I, I still didn't see what happened. Parry tries to force her way out. Somehow finds boot to ball. Carney will wrestle with Hanks and over the top will come Hall. 
Could be a goal. Kick 7-10 this season. Radar hasn't quite been on. Out to the right. Looks to bring it back on the breeze. And does it perfectly. And it's in. I prefer Melbourne to win this. But that's partly because I, I support Hawthorne. Who are obviously not in this competition yet. But will be soon. You, you got to stick with the rivalry, innit? <laughs> Even in the women's. You got to... Uh... <laughs> You, you can't be Hawker and, and want North to win. It just, it, it just can't happen. Unless they win benefits or Ford. Or they're playing Collingwood. Good start for the D's. Second quarter. That's a good kick. Well, we'll give that goal of the day. <laughs> Only the second game that I'm reacting to, but we call it goal of the day. Not many goals. More in this game. That's good. Great fly from Taylor Harris. 48 from goal. Kicks into the breeze. Gives it a ride. Breeze will rip it right. For a second, I thought I was gonna like go straight to goal. No, no. She's a good kick though, Taylor. I'll be honest, I don't know most of the AFW players, but I know Taylor Harris is. This is one of the names that I always remember. You know, from certain angles, the Melbourne kit reminds me of Brisbane. The Brisbane have, where have worn colours similar to that in some games. A mistake from Gilroy. She thought it was a north free kick and she threw it to Sarah Wright, but it was actually right. Taylor Harris's free kick for a lingering tackle. So that could be, be a goal good. here. She's got the power to penetrate through this breeze, gives it a ride, starts at left, measures it perfectly. She's indeed got that power. She doesn't skip leg there. That's a good first half from that's only the first half. For some reason, I thought it was a lot later than the game, actually. High kick inside 50. Harris tries to get from the contest. We'll have to come from behind. She'll get a free kick for a hole. Right now, it's Melbourne's game. Two in the big mark. She'll have her tail up and will be hard to stop. This for a 15 point lead. Harris early in the second half keeps it low and tries. There we go. North are just a one goal so far. They got a bit of a mountain to climb. They need something and quickly. Uh, that is not the something that they need. They need something the other way. <laughs> They don't, they, don't, they don't need to be giving the ball to Melbourne. Oh! Okay. There was a chance. I don't even want them to win. I just want a close game. <laughs> right, into the last. I don't see North winning at this point. Although, there have been some pretty crazy comebacks in uh, Air Force Harvey. There was one last week, wasn't there? From like half-time. Was it Brisbane? I can't remember. They were like so many points down at half-time and they won the game. At the end. Can she find a target inside 50? Pierce has gone back to defend. Ashmore's got the speed. Gets there first. Ashmore bends across the body. Oh, what a goal. And Ashmore delivers. At least in terms of the goals, this one is uh, a lot more entertaining <laughs> than uh, Free Adelaide. The thing is, right, they only show five minute highlight videos. I want to see a bit more of the game. And that's what you want to see. Ferguson, uh, it's done, it's done. And the D's join Adelaide in the top two. Uh, I always lose track of the uh, of how much time is left. I'm like, oh, it's full time. Yes, it is. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, uh, I did two in one video that time. It's very rare for me. If you didn't know, um, I once got a copyright strike from the AFL. Um, there was a reaction to a classic game, I think, and there was a reaction to the AFLW game. Um, it was a classic game that got copyrighted. It was for an injury. It showed, like, there was a clip, like a one-minute clip that I got copyrighted for, and it was an injury. There was a guy injured. I was just like, wait, what? I got so paranoid, I started cutting out injuries from, from my highlights reactions, just in case. <laughs> but, yeah, it was so weird. Uh, but, yeah, ever since then, like, I emailed them at the time. This was, like, two years ago. It was a long time ago. I emailed them, and they said, you shouldn't be using more than 10 minutes of footage. So... That's why 
it's one reaction per video. It has been for a while. But this one, both videos are really short, under five minutes. I'm just like, well, that's under 10 minutes in it, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I wanted to do this video because uh, I've been paying attention to the results and watching some highlights in my own time anyway. Um, but I've been looking forward to Fear Adelaide the entire season. I'm just like, from like round one or two, I was just like, when's Fear Adelaide? When's Fear Adelaide? It finally gets here in round eight. And on top of that, the first and second, like I expected anyway, and on top of that, you get third versus fourth, Melbourne and North. Massive round, I thought, hey, let's do this double reaction, and here we are. The thing is, uh, the games weren't as close as I kind of wanted, wanted them to be. Uh, last week, uh, which were the three, actually, you know what, let me go on those three games. Yeah, it was the last three games of the last round. It was Brisbane, Melbourne, Gold Coast, Western Border, which is a draw. Um, Brisbane Melbourne was three points, Melbourne victory, and then uh, the Giants beat St Kilda by two. Those are three very good games, especially the uh, Gold Coast Western Bulldogs one, and I didn't react to them at four. Hey, the next round has two massive games. Surely they can match this energy. Not quite close, but uh, to be fair, um, Melbourne against North had very entertaining goals. Uh, it was good entertainment-wise, so uh, I really enjoyed that. And uh, you know what? Since we're here, why don't we just start tipping? Let's do the tips now. Yeah, let's just do one video. Yeah, screw it. One big video. It's easier to edit. Um, right. Round. Wait, no, let me check the comp. Let me check the comp. I got four. Right, I'm out of this. I'm out of this. Uh, Scott is still top. Jamie is catching. We've got some. Any of these four. One of these four will win. I think he's too far behind. First five tips. I'm here, just behind him. Yeah, one of the top five. One of the top five will win, I think. Uh, so we'll see. There's no prizes, but uh, if there were, <laughs> I might do one for the men's one. I might. I, I said I, I'd consider it, but I might, I might. Um, overall, this guy's got 51. He's, he's crazy. But yeah, let's uh, see what I got right and wrong. Obviously, I got a lot wrong. Um, Tip three against Adelaide, got it wrong. Tip Richmond against Geelong, got it wrong. Tip Melbourne, got that right. Tip Gold Coast to beat St Kilda. St Kilda hadn't won a game. I, could, I didn't trust them, <laughs> but they won. By three points, but they won, fair enough. But I got it wrong. I got Collingwood right to beat Western Bulldogs. I got West Coast right to beat Brisbane and GWS right to lose to Carlton. Carlton won by three as well. Um, sorry, no, sorry. I mixed up, Carlton won by 18. But I tipped three points, it, it didn't work. It's a tiebreaker anyway, it doesn't matter, but... One, I, I never get this right. I want, One day I'll get the result and the uh, margin right, one day. <laughs> I think there was one day I got the margin right, but the result wrong. Um, but either way, I guess it could have been worse. Um, this one was close, of course. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, right, on to round nine. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> I'm confused. Where's round 11? I thought there was 10 rounds. There's 10 rounds, right? Where's there round 12? Where's round 11? What's round 12? It must be a website glitch. There's no way there's a... There's no round... <laughs> Someone's messed up. Uh, right, what's next? Round 9 is next, right? Let me get my head screwed on. Right. Um, now that St. Kilda have won a game, we're going to say they'll win again. Actually, I don't know. I think Geelong can beat them. I'll come back to this one. I'll come back to this one. Um, I think the Giants will beat the Richmond Tigers. I think Frio this time will win their game. They'll beat Frio in Melbourne is next week. Damn. That's huge. Like, Melbourne literally just leapfrogged them, but they could be back down into third. Into fourth, maybe, if the Lions win as well. Fifth. They could be fifth. Potentially, with enough of a percentage swing, Melbourne could be fifth by next week. That's insane. <laughs> That's actually insane. Um, West Coast, I think, will lose to the Western Bulldogs. Oh, Brisbane playing... No, Brisbane playing North. Okay, they could be fourth then, not fifth. They could be fourth. They could be fourth by the end of the next round. Not as bad. Um, I think the Lions will win this game. Although, I wouldn't count the Kangaroos out. But the Lions should win, I think. Um, Adelaide, I think, will beat Collingwood. I mean, they've beaten everyone apart from one. You know, they're, they're pretty dominant. They, they're beating the teams around them as well. That's the most important thing. 
maybe not always but you know a lot of the time in like any sort of league in any sports you beat the teams around you you tend to do better than them um doesn't always work like that but sometimes most of the time it does um so yeah, Adelaide I think will beat Collingwood as well and Carlton I think will beat Gold Coast why is them why is this on the last game now they just change it for fun I don't know but Carlton by four Carlton by 14 yeah Carlton by 14 against Gold Coast and as you can see I have not taken any risks so uh Geelong to beat St Kilda although I would say that's not really a risk when you consider that Saints have only won one game yes they won it last week but they won it last week for the first time. The, the first time they won, won it by three points. Geelong just won their game. My camera cut off. I should have used my main camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, as I was saying, um, I know they just won, but so did Geelong. And Geelong just won the previous round. Geelong will also be confident. And I think they can beat the Saints. So in terms of percentage of people who tipped them a week early, it's a week earlier anyway, cause, so not everyone's tipped anyway. But considering the percentage, it, it looks like a risk, but... I don't think it really is, but really it could go either way, so we'll see. So yeah, those are my tips. Uh, we got Carlton, margin 14, Adelaide, Brisbane, Western Bulldogs, Frio, GWS, and Geelong. This was your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and see ya.